all of us are required to show the progress of our work or our team's work in Excel, either on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, or a monthly basis, or a quarterly basis, right? Now, we are all struggling to do that. However, in today's video, I will tell you how to create beautiful looking progress charts to show the progress of your work. It can be anything. It can be any type of work progress that you want to show. It's just that it should be quantifiable in numbers. All right. So as long as your progress can be quantified in numbers, you can make progress charts looking like these. Here is an example for sales and the target was 1000. So 418 is remaining. And here is an example for students or teachers. So the marks that the person received was 42 and remaining marks were 58 because the total marks were 100. And here is say project management or task management. Three tasks were completed. And here is an, another example where I'm just showing completed and remaining. So there were total 10 items to be completed and eight have been completed to our remaining. And these, these numbers are changing, you know. I have actually put a formula called RAND between to show you the changes of percentage and how it will reflect over here. So just see this. This is how different percentages would look. Isn't this cool? Is, is it right? So if you want to learn how to create such beautiful looking charts, then you are at the right place. Welcome to my e-lesson and I will teach you how to create this beautiful looking progress chart in five minutes. All right. So just follow along. And in the end, I'll show you the trick I have used to format this. All right. So I'm going to a new sheet over here. So I have sales, target and remaining. Now over here, I had only two uh, headers. Now over here, I have three headers. So that's the secret sauce. Okay. So let me put it in this way. So I have sales, remaining sales and target. All right. Over here, I only had sales and remaining. So this column that I'm creating is called a helper column. And that's the secret sauce of getting this chart ready. All right. So let's say the sales were 500 and the target was 1000. So the remaining sales would be target minus sales, right? So once we have done this, now we are ready to create our chart. So what we are going to do is we are going to go to insert. We are going to go to charts. And from here, we'll choose a donor chart. Now, usually what we'll do, we'll now select the data for it, but in a different way. Now I'm clicking inside the chart and you'll find this new tab coming over here, design, all right? Or you can do a right click on the chart and go to select data, which can be done from here also. So select data and click on add and now do not give any series name over here and where it says series values you have to type one 20 times so one comma one all right so this has been done twice three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty now you'll be asking me why the hell am I entering these 21s over here. So if you see currently there is only one serration over here. I want such 20 serrations. Okay. The separations. All right. So I am almost there. All right. So here is this. Now I'm going to delete this part. I'm going to delete this part. All right. So now we have these 10, 20 separations over here. All right. Now I'm going to click on this chart, press control one. And I'm going to, first of all, 
click over here and make this donut hole size as 45. See, all right. Then I am going to click on this chart again. All right, go to fill and choose a solid fill from here and choose a color of my choice. Like I want this color. All right. Now I'll drag this chart over here. And now we will go ahead and start preparing the option to show where the completed part starts reflecting as highlighted over here. Okay. So to do that, I need to click on the chart again, do a right click, click on select data again, click on add and this time. So this is the sales data. So I'll give the series name as sales and in series value, I will go ahead and select these two cells where in my sales value and the remaining target is mentioned. Okay. Click OK. Click add. We are almost there. Now I'll click on this chart again. Do a right click. Go to change series chart type. And over here, where it says sales, this is where I gave the name, right? The second series of data that I added, I will make this secondary axis. And now, this is how it looks. It's very, very easy to follow. Now we are almost there, all right? So now I will click over here three, four times. So only this blue part is selected. I will go to fill and I'll click on no fill. So my chart is now visible. See, it is in correspondence to how much sales have received. We have received. So if I make it 900, see, so all that we need to do is remove this orange part and make it transparent. See this 78%. So 780. I let me do it this way. See, so now I'll click over here three, four times on this dark orange part. Go to fill, go to solid fill and fill it with white color and this transparency I can bring to 15%, 1550. My chart is almost ready. Almost ready. See, I make it 100 or 500 or 900. See, now I have to beautify it, which is very, very important. All right. So until and unless it is beautified, this chart doesn't mean anything. So that's the most important thing that we learn before that. If you have not subscribed or like this video, please do that. If you believe that we are doing a good job, then just like the video and subscribe to the channel so that whenever there is a new video out, you'll get to know. So now to beautify it, we'll go step by step. First of all, I'll click on the chart. All right. I'll go to design. Oh, sorry. I'll go to format. I'll go to shape fill and I'll choose no fill. I'll go to outline. I'll make no outline. So now this is transparent. Now I will click over here, this intersection cell over here, just above one and left to a this thing. I'll go to view now and remove the grid lines. I'll go to home again and give it a color of light gray. All right. Now I will go ahead and hide this column. Now I'll go ahead and give this a color. So usually to make it stand out, we should use a comparative theme. So I'll select these two and give it a dark color like this. And you can give it the same color as your chart also. And then this part, you make it light like this. And now you select this and increase the font size. Increase the width of the column. Now your chart is almost, almost ready. And you can go ahead and increase the size of the chart or resize it however you want. Now. 
what we need is this percentage to show over here all right so to calculate the percentage we will have to put in a formula so wherein is equal to so we know uh, we are calculating the percentage of 900 out of 1000 so 900 divided by sum of these two right and convert it into percentage and now you go ahead and hide this give this number the same font color as your sheet so it's not visible anymore so it's always there you can see it here but it's not visible to the naked eye now I'll go to insert I'll go to text box and I'll draw a text box over here and then I'll click on the formula bar click on is equal to and select this cell which contained the percentage all right press enter and my percentage is here now all I need to do is go to format or sorry go to home and give it a color black color and then go to format and go to shape fill make it no fill and give it no outline so the text box is not visible but the percentage is visible and it is dynamic if I make it 800 and now if I make it 75 0 see you can actually hide this also it's totally up to you now that this is no longer used so we can show it like this and take our chart over here so my chart is now ready very easy one more thing that you can do is you can increase the height of this row number one go to insert again go to text box again and go to text box and draw a large text box over here like this ensure that it fills the complete view and then set it like this go to format give it a shape fill of very dark gray like this because it should stand out against this i'll make it one more shade darker and then type something in uh, sales progress chart and increase the font size and there you are isn't this cool so this is how we make these progress charts you can create as many as you want the process remains the same well uh, these videos are available on my website myelesson.org you can also buy our courses from there on excel so you can even try to download a few demo files. The link is also available in the description. So hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next video.